yeah. Okay, the next thing we're going to make is a uh, blueberry wine sorbet. Again, sorbet, remember that? It's Italian ice with a fancy name. So we're just going to make it even fancier. If you'll pass those around. By um, adding some wine to it. And I can see the first thing I've got to do is go get my corkscrew. So I'll be right back. I'll get the corkscrew. No, it's not in a box. That's, that was when I was in, in a college. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting the water together and two pounds of sugar. What? This is an easy recipe. No, I'm going to add these after as it's right. Yeah, this is going in the machine. How about all those strawberries Steve put in for his ice? web restaurants are what? He put them whole, right in. Yes, most likely, yeah. It's called a ice cream server. And it's filled with uh, antifreeze, so you freeze it down and it'll keep Italian ice for several hours. Can I help you? you well, how much sugar do you need? I could use two. Two pounds of sugar. Two pounds of sugar. Two pounds of sugar. Two pounds of sugar. Two. Oh, and the water. Okay. <laughs> screw top? No, they're not screw okay. top. <laughs> you got something against screw top? <laughs> no, not at all. I was just wondering whether you need a corkscrew. Yeah, but where did I put the corkscrew? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Anybody here uh, own or shoot guns? My father was invited to a party once uh, for uh, Mr. Beretta, and uh, uh, who was... Uh, it was a big birthday party. Um, oh, I'm going to fill these two bottles, so let me do that. So um, those of you who don't know, Beretta is a very famous uh, Italian gun maker going back to the, you know, 1640. And um, so Mr. Beretta is coming to this birthday party, and uh, his, my father's friend, the uh, founder of Alcoa Aluminum, was holding the party. And he knew there was going to be um, just all sorts of fancy people and fancy gifts and uh, sure enough um, uh, the, the gifts were just unbelievable uh, dueling pistols and uh, just all sorts of amazing thing and my father knew he couldn't compete with that and so he gets up there and he's got a bottle of uh, in his hand that's uh, that's uh, uh, in a bag and uh, he gets up there and talks about how he and his brother are in the South Bronx, so they got this small little business that makes ice cream machines. It was small and little back then. <laughs> and uh, he said, we have a side business where we bottle and distill the Harlem River. <laughs> and so with that, he then says, and we've got, we've got a, a blend that uh, we uh, distilled of whiskey. It's, it's um, 17 hours old. And uh, it's been aged for 17 hours, and he pulls out a bottle of uh, the cheapest bourbon you can buy. It says Old Thompson on it. Old Thompson bourbon. And he says, we made this just for you, and presents it as a gift. Everybody else is giving $10,000 gifts and stuff. And Beretta wrote him back, and he said, you know, that was the most fun and best gift I ever got. Well, fast forward about 30 years, I don't think my selection in wine is much higher than, you know, Old Thompson. But uh, the, the wrapper looked nice. So this is pretty simple. It's two, two, and two. Two, bottle, two pounds of sugar, two bottles of wine, and I'm going to refill the bottles with water, and, and that'll be the water. So two, two, and two. So why do you say bottle of water? <coughs> no, it's it's oh, no, I'm going to just refill these. So I could have, yeah, I could have just said seven or two bottles of 750 milliliter water. I don't know. Old rot gun. <laughs> <laughs> what if you want the 
price. But the price was half, well under ten dollars a bottle. It doesn't mean I'm done. You know the the, the millennials uh, talk differently. You saw Christy in here before. You know if, if you made fun of me buying under ten dollar bottle wine, she would go, "Don't judge me." I go, if I hear don't judge me one more time, I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah, it is. You can do it. Yeah. Take it from here to here. You can do that. Oh, what happened? Very slow. Very slow. Very slow. From here. Yes. I use a dry wine. Yeah, because that's the taste I'm going for. No blueberries? You could add blueberries, too. I've got the bag oh, here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Do you want to start opening them? i got a sure. feeling that they're in individual bags. Really? Yeah, so a little crazy. Any, any type, any type of wine? So you use any type? Yes. A wine? Yes. Absolutely. And then you don't just stop there. We have the bourbon around, not just for Friday afternoons. It's, uh, it actually goes in the ice cream. Uh, my uncle used to make rum raisin ice cream, and he said the way you do it is you... Buy the golden raisins. I don't know if I have a box of them. You buy the golden raisins, not the dark ones. The golden raisins. And you put them in a bowl, and you cover it over with a good crusion rum. Um, and, and you put it in the refrigerator, and you let it sit for a week. Now, the key to it, he said, though, is you have to go in every night and check on how the, the, it's going, because they're gonna, these are going to absorb the rum. So he would check it every night. And in fact, by the end of it, either they were all absorbed or he had drunk all the uh, rum that was in there. But then it was ready for the ice cream. <laughs> I do make a great uh, Christmas ice cream. Grand Marnier liqueur is a French uh, orange liqueur. It's about $40 a bottle. It's outrageous. But it's got a, this great orange flavor. And I take just plain old ice cream mix, a bottle of the Grand Marnier liqueur into the 24 quart and about six lemons or oranges, and I grate off the outside zest, the specks, throw that in. I end up with a pure white ice cream with little specks of uh, orange in it uh, and the taste and the aroma of the Grand Marnier. It's way too expensive. You know, we talked about, don't worry about the cost. It's way too expensive to sell to anybody, but you got a, a, a good relative, it, it sure beats sending a tie. You know, it's, it's a lot nicer gift. So we got everything here. I'm going to make sure the gate is closed. Open that up. Perhaps we can put something below your... Uh, most likely. Uh, but check with your local state. They all vary. Um, New York State, where I'm from, has got more rules and regulations than you can shake a stick at, but they're very lenient on alcohol. So it really depends on the state and the situation. Uh, the blueberries. Oh, here they are here. Okay, so this is all set. We're making a sorbet. I'm going to hit... Um, do I have a saying for sorbet? Sorbet. That's on, turn that on, and we're in business. Not worrying about mixing. The machine's gonna mix it now. And in go the blueberries. Ooh, take one. One, yeah, take thanks. Uh, thawed. Mm. Frozen. Jeff, do you do thawed or frozen? But you oh. puree them. No, I, I put in thawed. Okay. But they were frozen. Yes, they were. How many bags so far? Just throw them in. All right.
because you'll get a lot of your sweetness from this too. Yeah. What about this? You don't want to add this, huh? No, I've got enough liquid in here. Okay. I've got a little extra liquid. And that's it. That was simple. Now we'll just wait a few minutes and it'll be ready. Um, after this, uh, I will be leaving, but uh, uh, after Jeff has finished today, Mike is gonna take you on a tour of the factory. And uh, any questions, you can uh, call here anytime and ask for me. You can uh, email me at steve at emerythompson.com. Um, I didn't put in a, a plug for boot camp, which I want to do. Uh, after Jeff started in the back of the room and, and then started doing these classes with me, he decided, you know what, we really need uh, a teacher who knows what they're doing because we know that idiot Steve Thompson doesn't know what the heck he's doing. <laughs> so he started up Ice Cream Boot Camp, uh, which those of you watching this video, uh, this is down in uh, Central West Florida. You can fly into Orlando or you can fly into Tampa. And there's a lot of people in the audience today who took the class. Uh, I, I think it's the greatest training going on. Uh, you, you look at some of the uh, other courses out there, they're very expensive. They're a little too foo-foo for me. Uh, this is down to earth, real talk. Of, this is what you can do and this is how you can do it. And in Jeff's class, you're not only going to actually run the machines, you're going to be, uh, he's going to be sitting in a, in a barker lounger, uh, barking <laughs> orders, figures, and you're going to run the machine, and you're going to be responsible for the ice cream, and you're going to clean the tables, you're going to uh, uh, greet the customers and scoop the ice cream to them, and um, he'll sit there and take all the accolades while you're doing all the work, they're gonna, people are going to walk over and tell him how great he is. If there's any free time, he's going to have you put two coats of wax on that new Volkswagen of his. So you're going to learn a whole lot about the business. I highly recommend it. Uh, um, my classes uh, we are, were set up first, and then Jeff came along, and, and we got together. And what we do is his class is on a Monday and Tuesday, and then, of course, this one's on a Wednesday. You have to, if you're signing up for Jeff's class, you also have to sign up for mine. It doesn't come automatically, or you can just sign up for mine. Uh, but if you want real training and, gee, there's, there's nothing more important in, the, in any business than getting information. If you can get good information, why reinvent the wheel when someone's already done it for you? If you can get really good information, uh, you're going to be that much more successful. Uh, he charges for the class. It's uh, not outrageous and it's uh, definitely worth it. So check it out. And uh, the next one is April. April Fool's Day. So, they're a lot of fun. And uh, Jeff, I don't think I have anyone ever heard anyone have but just the greatest accolades for well, your class. Well, thank you. That's very they, nice. They really love it. Yeah? Okay. You forgot to plug in your golf cart? No, uh, the freezer in my car. Oh, the freezer. Okay. You forgot to do it? No, I figured at lunchtime. Oh, I thought Andy takes, was doing it this morning. It takes an hour to get down to minus to two degrees. Okay. Huh. Pretty good. Any questions? No? Yes, okay. <laughs> no, no booklet. No, you got to wing it. What do you say? Does your machine come with a booklet? Oh, it comes with a real instruction manual. Yeah. It's a, no, it's not like the iPhone Does where they... If I hear that word intuitive one more time. Oh, it's intuitive. That means, yeah, good luck. You figure it out. No, it comes with a real instruction book. <laughs> and real life people, we are available uh, even nights and weekends uh, to answer questions. We're, we're very serious about uh, this being a family business and taking care of our family. Speaking of which, can I borrow five bucks? <laughs> but, Are we uh, doling it out in the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we putting it in these? No. Okay. Yes. Do you have any of those uh, hand crank machines for sale? No, but you can, you can get that on... Any uh, flea market. You can get that on eBay and other... Not, uh, Amazon. This is what my grandfather... I have it around because this is what my grandfather was using... Uh, back in uh, 1903 to make ice cream in the world's largest department store. 
and you put rock salt and ice in here, um, the, the uh, salt lowers the freezing point of ice. And you put all your ingredients in the, um, in the center, and then for 40 minutes you turn a crank. And that made you a quart of ice cream. And that's the way all ice cream was made. So when we invented our machine, I'll pass this around for you to see. Um, this is the uh, first uh, batch, mechanized batch freezer ever made. And that was my uh, grandfather's invention. So every batch freezer that's on the market today is based on his original patents. And uh, this, was, um, this was patented in, I think, 1905, 1906. And that's what started our company. So it truly is homemade ice cream. It is the homemade uh, process. Just, you know, we've gone from 40 minutes with rock salt and ice, shoveling ice. It's the homemadiest. It's what? It's the homemadiest ice cream. It is the homemadiest. <laughs> uh, eight minutes for ice cream, uh, 14 for ices. Um, Edward Thompson, a uh, little uh, thing like that, or no. just a different? No, it, it'll actually be a White Mountain. Oh. Uh, yeah, White Mountain is the company. We just put our tag on it. Uh, no. <laughs> I know what you wanted. I'm sorry? What's your number one selling machine? What's our number one selling machine? Uh, used to be the 24. Now it's this one, the CB350. Yeah, the, the 350 does everything the 24 does, but in a smaller package and much less price. This is 27.2 and this is 10.9. Uh, so, big difference. That's coming along nicely. Small machine that you make? The real small one? You mean this thing right here, or, or the small, or the next one up? The, the 175 of the Our our lowest machine is I think thirty three hundred dollars. Yeah, that's this. Oh, that's this one. Yeah. Uh, no, I think that's too small to start a business because it's just too labor intensive. Uh, a batch on this one's going to take eighteen minutes, and it's going to make a quart and a half. You'd be up all day, all night. Uh, this is for high-end restaurants that are small. Uh, we sell it to them. We sell it to um, uh, wine bars that want to make a, this product, and they have wine and cheese, and they want to add this to it. I sell a lot of to them to uh, uber-rich people who want one down by their pool or their tennis court. Um, lot. Next size up, you'll see it on the tour. Is a um, almost a, a triangle design machine, horizontal, and it's three quarts. How much is that? I think that's uh, about sixty-five, sixty-seven hundred. No, it's still too small. No, People. take your fifteen and buy the CB three fifty for eleven. Yeah, and you'll be in business. Yeah, and if you sell it in nine months, as you will, to buy the twenty-four, you'll sell it for ten. In, in an hour. Yeah, really. That's a, You won't find a used Emory Thompson anywhere, especially not on eBay, but if you put one up there, I get calls. Uh, if someone puts up a Emory Thompson, I'll get 40 calls in, in a couple hours. And I wow. tell, by the time I get to the 40th call, I already tell them, now, I know it may still not, be up oh, there, but it's, you're it's too in, late. It's already been, I'm sure it's been sold. Now all I'm doing is just checking it, just like my wife checks the, the cake to see how it is. I'm just seeing how the freezing's going. You want to try this, Jeff? See how it is? Sure. As oh, you, you said. Already? As you almost. Is this a used spoon? No, it's okay. new. Looks look at the color there. Extraordinary. Huh? Extraordinary. It is? How's the wine? The wine is great. You can taste the it. The blueberries. Go ahead. Could have been a better blueberry. Could have been pureed. Okay. Oh, you're right. I think I meant to. <laughs> All right, so now you're going to see it without pureed blueberries, but know that you could even get more flavor out of them uh, by well, putting also, them to the ninja. Not, it's not, to me, it's not the flavor. To me, it's the icy blueberry. Uh -huh. You know, I like... I don't like the icy, but some people will. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Now, the uh, alcohol will make the product look a little bit wetter uh, because it's, it's uh, just in suspension. But uh, it's, it's all well frozen. That's looking pretty good. I'll pull that out shortly. And tell everybody, if anybody can't have alcohol, don't have this. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you don't uh, consume alcohol, I don't. Don't eat this. Because that's, that's real alcohol. And you can taste it. Okay. That looks good. Let me all start fresh. All right, here we go. Got to turn that off. Look at the color. What a beautiful color. Boy, you made great stuff today. Not bad. Yeah. I need a, something to smooth it out. Here we go. Oh. I'm sorry, was someone asking a question? We put this underneath the spout. Okay. For the Italian ice, um, I ran into a guy who really had a really good theory. He he would look around and see what Coke and Pepsi were selling for, and he said, "I'm a better product than Coke and Pepsi, a lot better." So he would find out what their price was and then mark it up higher. It's it's one way Beautiful. of doing it. Beautiful. Mucho, Mike, you want to try this? Sure. Excuse me. I'm going to grab one for Mike. Thank you. So she had a good question. Yes. The question was, is there an amount that you can uh, serve before it becomes illegal, like too much wine? Again, you got to talk to your local state health board. Uh, they all vary. Uh, most places are going to consider it an ingredient. That's pretty wild. Well, you, you, I mean, pastry shops have been doing it for years. A baba oh, rum, one more. Uh, rum cake. I mean, these things are saturated with rum. So I, I, I would make a, a minor deal out of it. I'm more concerned of the type of business are you are uh, running. Are you... Uh, um, more of an adult crowd, or is it going to be, you know, neighborhood kids? Uh, the, the mother is not going to want the neighborhood kids coming in. Uh, so you, you have to look individually at each store. No, uh, half of much. And goodbye. No, over 21. Yes. Is it good? I've never had it. <laughs> I've never tasted it. I can eat it for you. <laughs> good. What? No, but oh, that's good right. stuff. Folks, I have to leave. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming. Yeah, there's my timer. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you.